As he peered ahead into the great land that stretched before him, the way seemed long. But the sky was bright, and he somehow felt he was headed in the right direction. Good God, man! This book gave me goosebumps! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Goosebumps. So Goosebumps is based off of the best-selling books known as The Goosebumps, the very popular children's books that inspires kids all over the world to read, which I think is very awesome personally. And it is based off of the TV show. So Goosebumps is from the same director of Gulliver's Travels. It stars Jack Black, Ryan Lee, Dylan Minnett, Odea Rush, and Amy Ryan. And Goosebumps is about when Zack and his mom just move into town. You know, Zack is trying to fit in until one day he meets this lovely girl played by Odea Rush uh, named Hannah. Zack and Hannah, they form a quick friendship with each other so they're getting along really nicely. Hannah's father, however, forbids her to ever be in contact with Zack. So then when one incident happens, Zack and his friend, played by Ryan Lee, named Chump, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Champ. Yeah, they go see what goes on in Hannah's home, but then trouble ensues when the books accidentally open and all of these monsters are being released and they're all run by Slappy the Dummy. So it's up to R.L. Stein and the kids to go stop Slappy the Dummy and get all of these creatures back into the books so, you know, they can save the day or night. I'll say night. So when I went to Goosebumps, I'm not gonna lie, I went to this movie expecting to have a lot of fun. However, I'm not a fan of the Goosebumps TV show. I always thought the TV show was just very cheesy. The only episode I really liked was with Slappy the Dummy, and that's because he was like, holy crap, legitimately terrifying. Really, other than that, I always found the show to be just more cheesy rather than scary. And personally, I've never read the books, but I do want to someday read them because I think it's great that these books actually influence kids all over the world to read and form their own imagination. So I give huge respect to Arl Stein for actually writing those books. But when I went into this movie, even with me not being a fan of Goosebumps, I still wanted to have a lot of fun. And coming out of Goosebumps, it was just all right, personally. It's still a fun movie, but when I came out of it, I honestly was underwhelmed. Now with the concept of Arl Stein and the kids having to go out and get all these creatures that came out of the books, I think that's a genius concept. And I still think the concept itself is really cool and something nice to do for a full feature film for Goosebumps. However, how it was executed, it could have been better in all honesty. But of course, Let's get to my positives for Goosebumps. So the first positive is that Jack Black as R.O. Stein was perfect. He is by far my favorite thing about Goosebumps. He was really creepy. Like he actually had a surprisingly creepy moments. Like there were moments where we were like, okay, I want to stay away from this guy. But then there were times where he was really silly and over the top and goofy, you know, in your usual Jack Black form. That's why I love the guy so much because he's just so energetic. Out of all the performances, he really brought out the most energy into this movie. Dylan Minnett was also very good too. He's the same guy from Prisoners and Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Damn, what a long title. But yeah, he's from those two movies, and he's here in Goosebumps, and I really enjoyed him here. Odea Rush as Hannah, she's from the movie The Giver, actually, and I thought Odea Rush was just really awesome here. I thought she had a very nice chemistry with Zack, played by Dylan Minnett. I thought Dylan Minnett and Odea Rush, they just 
had a nice back and forth with each other. And Ryan Lee, who is the kid from Super 8 in which I wasn't a fan of Super 8 and I was most certainly not a fan of his character. But I will say, Ryan Lee, he did do a pretty good job for the role that he had. Amy Ryan's really good here and pretty much everyone else is pretty good here. I can't really say anything bad about the performances. Now I really like that the main antagonist for Goosebumps is Slappy the Dummy. I thought that was actually very clever for the movie to actually make Slappy the main antagonist. He was very creepy like oh my goodness I would not want this dummy near me and I'm surprised a lot of reviewers haven't mentioned this but Jack Black also does the voice of Slappy. So to Jack Black's credit he did a freaking fantastic job. Like, I didn't even really hear Jack Black when I was watching Slappy the Dummy. So not only did Jack Black bring in his own personality to Arl Stein, but he definitely brought a ton when it came to Slappy. And he even does the Invisible Boy as well. So Jack Black had three roles to handle, and I thought he did a very stellar job with those roles. The cinematography for Goosebumps, I really liked too. I thought it looked very beautiful. It's very well lit and most of this movie is at the night time so when you're out in the night time you want to hope to see the characters like you actually want to see the characters on screen well and you can how it's filmed in the night time was very well done rob letterman also did a very nice job directing this movie you could tell there was energy when he was directing goosebumps and he wanted to have fun with the project like this and i totally respect when a director can just have fun with the movie and you really feel him trying to make you have fun as an audience when he's directing the movie and having you follow the camera work which I was honestly really impressed by. There were also times where I thought the movie did get very clever. I thought the writing at times had very clever ideas going for the movie and it executed some of those ideas really nicely. Also I have to say one of the things I'll give goosebumps is that it had a plot twist I actually did not see that coming and when that certain plot twist happened I was like wow that was actually very nice for the movie to do like it was very clever and I thought it actually gave just a little bit of heart to this movie and speaking of heart there was this nice moment between Zack and Arl Stein you know Dylan Mennett and Jack Black and I actually found that one brief and sadly it was very brief but you know I thought it was really nice I wish the movie could have explored into that unfortunately it was more focused on them running from the creatures and trying to get rid of all these creatures which I get that's the point but I wish the movie focused more on the heartwarming stuff so it's hard to get more invested in the character development moments as you can say when the movie rarely delivers on that and then the last positive I do have for Goosebumps is that it was cool to see all the creatures here I was like oh look there's that creature and there's that creature and I just thought it was pretty awesome now while there are plenty of things to like about Goosebumps there's actually a lot to not like about this movie unfortunately one of those problems is Ryan Lee as Champ or as I like to call him Chump at this point now as I said in the positives the actor was really good he did do a very nice job. I have to give full credit to the actor for giving a very nice performance. His character, however, he was hit and miss with me. Sometimes Champ actually did make me laugh. There were some times where he would say something or do something and it actually was funny. But there were other times where it was not funny. Champ just felt so forced and there were actually plenty of times where I just wanted to scream shut up to Chad because he was honestly at times really getting on my nerves he really was so I thought they really could tone down Champ in some of the moments unfortunately the CGI and goosebumps was not that great I'm not gonna go as far and say it's crap it's not crap it's not the worst CGI I've seen. I've seen worse. So here it's okay, but unfortunately the CGI could have looked a lot better for the movie and it could have blended better with this world. The abominable snowman, I thought he actually looked pretty good. The wolf, 
he looked pretty good. You know, the wolf was fine looking, but everything else was just... That was kind of mediocre, in all honesty. And I felt whether this movie did it on purpose or not, they could have used more work on the CGI. Some scenes in this movie were executed very awkwardly. Some of the moments and how they were executed just felt really out of place. I felt like the movie didn't really do much for the plot either. And if you guys know me, I actually like it when a movie or even a TV show can do simple plots. I'm all about simple plots. However, how Goosebumps does the simple plot, I felt like it didn't really add much to it. It really wouldn't be a problem with me if I was into the movie more, but because I wasn't really into the movie, like, hugely, that's where I felt like they didn't do much for the movie, and I felt like it could have done better, not only with its concept, but how they told the story. Houston Sage, I really like her. I mean, I've only seen her in a few things. For example, she was fantastic in Paper Towns earlier this year. I thought she was really great. I just really liked the actress, but she felt really unnecessary here. When you count all of the screen time she has, she's really in this movie for five minutes all together with her screen time she's in the movie for about five minutes in total and i still enjoyed seeing her here so don't get me wrong i still liked seeing house and sage here but i felt like she was just in this movie just so champ can have a love interest Luckily, the movie doesn't make that a main thing because family movies tend to do that where they make a love plot be like the entire thing. That's not the case with Goosebumps, thankfully, but when it was added in there for a scene or two, I was just all like, uh, yeah, that wasn't really needed. And to top it all off, the movie decides to add another love thing just for the sake of it. That's not explored too much either, thankfully, but still, it wasn't necessary. Certain moments and goosebumps did feel a little bit rushed in terms of how it was pacing to the next scene. And I would say pacing overall, for the most part, it actually was nice. Like, it never slows down. I'm never bored watching the movie. Uh, you know, the pacing keeps going, but there were just times where the pacing felt like it was rushing a bit too much. And then the last negative I have with the movie is that I did feel like Zack's aunt, in the beginning at least, she got quite annoying. As the movie kept going on, I got used to her, she was actually serviceable, but when the movie started for like around the first like 20 minutes, I got pretty annoyed by her. Overall guys, Goosebumps I felt like was just alright. It's still a fun movie, but I felt like in terms of how it executed the concept really could have been worked on better. and. It's not me sounding underwhelmed because I'm not a fan of the TV show. It's not all about, oh, am I a fan of Goosebumps or not. It's about how the movie itself executed the concept and unfortunately it could have done better with the execution. I still really like the performances. I thought the CGI moments were fine. Really cool to see the creatures, but I did feel like the movie could have been better. So I'm going to give Goosebumps two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Goosebumps? What's your favorite Goosebumps book? What's your favorite episode from the Goosebumps TV show? And yeah, just let me know what's your history on Goosebumps. I actually want to read some stories on if you have any personal connections with the Goosebumps TV show, with the Goosebumps books. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, or should I say, this is RL Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.